did not delay Afion Crockett from getting here. It did not. A comedian from Los Angeles, actor, <laughs> uh, writer, <laughs> pigeon. There you are, you're on television. <laughs> Performing tonight and tomorrow at Comedy at the Carlson. Uh, here with us first, though, on Good Day Rochester, which is probably, it's I mean, backwards. Isn't how, hard? how long <laughs> have you been dreaming of being on Good Day Rochester? You know what? Uh, way back in the day, uh -huh. uh, this was it. You know, I saw a lot of shows on TV. I saw, you know, Leno and Letterman and yeah. Fallon. And I said, I got to come to Rochester. Yeah. That's the place. We get that a lot. A lot. Big, a lot. Don't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All the time. I see we all got the blue memo. I know. Some shade Look of it. Us. Yeah. That's yeah. What we, we talk every morning, and obviously you got the memo too. Absolutely. Um, and you were just telling me, because you live in LA, you're doing a lot of things other than stand up comedy. Uh, so maybe one one weekend a month you go out on the road and Yeah, yeah, do maybe this? one weekend a month. I like to stay in LA and, uh, and write and develop shows and do all that kind of stuff. And I still act as well. So, you know. Um, it has I'm from, nothing to do with the weather. Staying in LA. Let me tell you something, y'all. It's cold. <laughs> it is cold here. And this is like warm this for us is right really now. Warm. I'm surprised you're not in bikini and swim trunks <laughs> right now. Because for y'all, you still have on the coat. There's a reason I'm not in swim trunks and it has TV. nothing to do with the yeah, water. Yeah. <laughs> I got off the plane and I was like, no, y'all need to retake off. <laughs> the cold is burning my face. Very often, supposed to burn. Yeah. When, when oh. comedians come in, one of the first things we will do is we'll go to YouTube to kind of get mm -hmm. a sample of their work. But oh, and so yeah, the thing yeah, I yeah. call up was from 1995. <laughs> Uh, no a, a Jamie Foxx deaf comedy jam, and you're dancing. Yeah. But then I read in your bio, you were a dancer at age 10. I'm still a dancer, yeah. 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 I, I like to move. I mean, look, we we go around our daily lives, and you come to work, and you, you sit in traffic, and you go home to the kids or whatever you do. Yeah. When do you dance? Not enough. When do you dance? And let, let your hair down a little when bit. When do you dance, Doug? I, when do you dance, Doug? I, uh, when right I now. really <laughs> feel the need, when I really <laughs> feel the need to, to express to dance. myself. <laughs> yes, dance is my favorite form of expression, I think, as you know. Uh, usually, I would at, pay to usually see you at do weddings. The nay -nay. Me too. Usually at weddings. Can you do the nay -nay? No, I can do the Dougie. <laughs> do the. Uh, I need to see that, Doug. I, really, I need to see I, Doug I, do the Dougie. Eh, yes. Probably not happening. Come on, probably man. Probably not. <laughs> Just because this table, it. It, it, <laughs> we, we we have to have union guys move the table, and there's no union oh, guys yeah, right now. Yeah, that's what, that's what it is. <laughs> you you were on Curb. I was on Curb season two with uh, Larry David, the the genius himself. And uh, yeah, it was an experience, you know, like to have Larry David come to me at the end of a scene and say, was that funny? And it's all <laughs> improvised. So he's right. like, you know, he trusts that he hires certain comedians to come around. But uh, at the time, I wasn't known at all. And he trusted me with the scene. I was was like, there a, like a framework of a scene? And you kind of like a framework. Yeah. Like literally he could say, all right, we're going to sit down and do an interview, but just disagree with everything I say. <laughs> that has yeah. to be fun, though. Oh, and uh, like scary. The and, pants? Yeah. Oh no, but but for stand up that's what yeah. that's what we do. Yeah. Like last night at the show, we there was a woman in front a little inebriated and uh -huh. talking the whole time. <laughs> and you have to use it. Like you can't let it distract you. That's yeah. that's what improv is all about. That's what comedy is all about is living in the moment and by the moment, yeah. you know? It's awesome. kind of like what uh the president uh, does now. <laughs> that guy. <laughs> We're still going to build the wall. Okay. We're here at Fox, but we're going to build a wall. All right. <laughs> he did some great on the My YouTube. My hair is not real. I was going to say, I've heard totally you, you, do, you do impressions very well. I do, do a couple. I do a couple He does every. Is there anything you don't do? You dance. Do you sing? I, I sing a little bit, maybe. Okay. I don't Act, play basketball. It's right. All-Star Weekend in L.A. I wish I was there, guys, but, but I'm not. Here. I'm here in Rochester. <laughs> He, Making uh, money. Atheon <laughs> Crockett is at uh, Comedy at the Carlson uh, tonight and tomorrow as well. And we're going to get back. We'll have ticket information for you. Find out about where he grew up. Wasn't mm -hmm. LA. No. When we come back. Deutschland. <laughs> you skip. And a good day for Sally Dolly, the butt lady of Auburn, California. She's celebrating picking up her one million cigarette butt. One million! <laughs> and still... Sally refuses to butt out. I don't like seeing them down there. Here's hoping you have a good day. I'm Jenny Ryan for Good Day Rochester. She has a clicker. She We're trying to figure the... out how the butt lady counts her butts. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> it is literally impossible to count cigarette most, butts to most a million. People, <laughs> most people can count to one. That's how many butts they have. Yeah. You think Ten at the it. most. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you ain't gonna count a million butts. Uh, Carlson <laughs> Comedy. Unless you're in the strip club. Carlson. <laughs> 
comedy, guys. Carlsoncomedy.com is how to get your tickets to see Afion Crockett, who's playing tonight and tomorrow, two shows at uh, Comedy at the Carlson. Yes, but of course he's with us here uh, before he goes on. How, you were last night, though. How did last night go? Last Other than the lady great. in the front that was enjoying a little Even too her. Much. It, oh, was, okay. it was great. Like, again, it's comedy. You know, some, some comedians will let that affect them yeah. in a way. And uh, I just, I use everything. So we always ask, where'd you grow up? And you gave us an answer that surprised Ashley and myself. Deutschland. Germany. Oh. Yes. Yeah, over, overseas. My dad's army guy. Um, we were stationed at Fort Bragg in Germany. That was my whole life, was Fort Bragg in Germany, back and forth. Yeah. Um, but you know, most military brats ha share the same story. Very family oriented, very community vibe. Uh, yeah. So it's a good, I mean, you you talk about with affection, being in Germany and the culture oh, and it. what you learned and including Absolutely. the language. Yeah. yeah. That's where I first got acquainted with snow. So when I saw, oh. when I saw Rochester snow mounds in the <laughs> parking lot, I was like, okay. I remember those. <laughs> don't get much of that in L.A. No. Yeah, I bet. That's don't. all. No, but okay, so you dance, and you act, and you do a bunch of stuff, and impressions are one of them. Can you give us a couple impressions? Well, well you, your favorite. You have, to, you have to understand, you know, when it comes to impressions, you know. <laughs> I just become me. You know, my wife, Beyonce, she's not here. <laughs> I save her a seat right here. Because <laughs> I can't have no one else sitting next to me but her, you know. If she comes through, it's gonna be another elevator fight, so, you know. <laughs> Solange, don't don't throw no punches at me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I was just telling uh, my my boy Brandon. Brandon's on the show with me. Mm -hmm. Brandon Lewis uh, back there. Hey Brandon. I watched Chris Rock's new stand-up special. I'm a big big Chris Rock fan, you know. And Chris is like, you know, we just had Valentine's Day. Chris is known for like giving you premises over and over. You can't take your woman on a date. <laughs> you can't take. Okay, you can't do it. You can't do it. Okay, you just can't do it, man. You can't take your woman on a date. You know why? You'll be broke, man. Broke, 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 man. Okay, that's right, man. That's right. Okay. That's amazing. Do you ever have? Have you ever done an impression of someone in front of them, or have they seen it and reacted to it? Yeah, me and Russell Simmons actually have a series on YouTube called Hustles with Russells. Oh. And I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm just playing Russell Simmons, his clone. <laughs> He's so busy. He he, he had so many businesses that you know he had to clone himself and and go around making clothes. You know, that's just what it is. You know, the Def Jam Records, Def Comedy Jam, uh, Comedy at the Carlton. You know. <laughs> Go see Appian Crockett. He always mispronounces my name. <laughs> <laughs> he always mispronounces my name. You know, you should change your name to Appian. You know, it's more lucrative. <laughs> you know, it's more affluent, <laughs> if you will. Oh, my gosh. That's awesome. Yeah, you know, it's, it's all fun. It's all fun and games. Do you ever, uh, when you're, uh, you talk about YouTube and, and what a, a venue now, how many more opportunities do artists of all kinds have because of things like YouTube to get oh, your yeah. work out there? I mean, it's a wild, wild west. Like, right. you literally can sit in your living room and create your own show. Yeah. You know, and the platform is a little different. It doesn't mean that you're going to get your own TV show in Hollywood, but it depends on what your values are. If you just want money and you want to just create a living for yourself, you can do it on YouTube. You can do it on Instagram. You can, the, the platform is in the hands of the producer it's and amazing. the creator now, where, as opposed to back in the day when you had to just be in your hometown watching TV and that was the only way to be seen. Yeah. It's a little different. The power is in the hands of the people. Yeah, very cool. You, you still like doing stand-up, though, because you, you say you stay in touch with it. What, what is it about doing stand-up that, that maybe re-energizes? I get to meet you, Doug. Well, oh. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I know, I know. Do and you know what a joy it is to come to work with Doug Emblidge every day? Yeah. I, I know, I and he yeah. dances a lot, apparently. I do so dance, that's yes. got to be a the party. Dance. <laughs> huh? Huh, people? The dance is so in demand that I almost get tired of it. I know. You know, and it, it just it's just too much. You have to. But yeah, this is this is for me, this is what stand up is about. It's coming to meet new people mm -hmm. and not being in LA in my bubble, in my vacuum creating. I get to go see people and, and talk to the fans and talk to what I call the the family. Mm -hmm. Carlsoncomedy.com, a great way to get tickets to see Afion Crockett tonight. Uh, it's been a ball having you here. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. I never know what camera to look at. Uh, don't just look, look yeah, at just, just look yeah. between them. That's what I do. Okay? <laughs> weather traffic and weather. Come out, guys. No. Go ahead. Weather traffic and local headlines. They're coming look up next. Look between the cameras. That's a good one. <laughs>